Hi YouTube, welcome to the recap of week two of my fourth year medical school. And you'll notice I am in a completely different setting. I am currently up in northern Minnesota um, enjoying vacation. I'm like literally kind of like in an attic, as you can tell. So, yay, and it's pretty hot in here. I'd say it's about 85 degrees. <laughs> But, um, and I'll talk about that later. Let's see. To start off, I think I left you at last Sunday, and I had a week left to study before boards, um, which we are now done with, obviously. Otherwise, we wouldn't be up here. So Monday through Thursday, just kind of, again, typical day in pathology. I finished up my two-week rotation. It was pretty short. I was, again, able to do so much. He let me do a lot of the gross and I forget that I just keep using terms. So when I say gross, I don't mean like icky or disgusting. We call it like gross pathology, meaning like you can actually see the organs and things you're working with. Otherwise, you're usually working under microscope, microscope um, for slides. But when I say gross pathology, I just mean like you can actually see with your plain eye what you're looking at. So, <laughs> I mean, some people might think it's disgusting, but I, I'm not using it as that. Uh, he was letting me do that, so like with the placentas, I got to cut all like the amniotic sac around the placenta and cut the cord, and we got to measure it, and um, he let me actually cut like the chunk to go onto the slide to be processed, and same with all the other organs. I love to do appendixes, appendices? I love to do the appendix as an organ, <laughs> and also gallbladders are pretty fun. Otherwise, we see colon polyps and gastric biopsies and skin lesions we see all the time, you know, either punch biopsies or excisional lesions, um, or excisional biopsies, and that's pretty much, sometimes, like, uh, we had actually an interesting case of colon cancer, so you actually get the colon resection, I mean, like, the whole colon, and it's attached to the mesentery um, fat, and so you get the look through all the lymph nodes and everything and make sure if you have the tumor you cut through all that so um, with his supervision he was letting me do all that which is great probably took like five times as long <laughs> as if he were to do it himself but that was nice I like to be actively doing things so I got to do a lot and one day which was fun we got to go to an even smaller town and there was a plastic surgeon visiting that small hospital and we came in as the pathologist and so before he finished up his surgery it was on the face for um I think one was a basal cell cancer and was with, one was a squamous cell cancer and so he has like he does his frozen sections there so the um, plastic surgeon will remove what he thinks is all of the cancer we'll go take it we'll cut it um, under frozen section and then look at it under an and then do all your little stains that you have and then you bring in look under the microscope to make sure you've removed all the cancer so we did that for two cases which was kind of fun I got to check out another small town and visit different places in between the cases and it was really fun I even got to see like this ginormous like statue of a bull Albert the bull and I got my picture taken by that so it was pretty fun then, uh, other than that, I just kind of studied. I think I completed my videos on Tuesday, and then I was going to use like Wednesday and Thursday and Friday to review before uh, level two on Saturday, but I kind of was exhausted from studying, so I kind of didn't review as much as I maybe should have. But I think all in all, it didn't really matter. Um, Friday or Thursday, I came home. We spent the day Friday pretty much packing because we will be gone for we won't be like at our home base like where all our furniture is for nine weeks yeah nine weeks so we have two weddings in between there we're flying out to Philadelphia to take our PE boards in between there two different rotations vacation like I'm on right now in northern Minnesota so we just have so much to pack and so much to be organized for and we had to bring two vehicles up because for our second rotation we'll be in different places we needed two vehicles to do that and so it was just kind of a big headache to get everything ready and organized and then also um, that way John could John and I could leave separately from the exam on Saturday so that's what we did and so unfortunately it was kind of not really a huge relaxing day prior to the exam we were packing and we didn't get to bed because the laundry wasn't done 
so we didn't get to bed that early. Saturday was the test day. I wasn't nearly as nervous as I was for level one. I think we're just used to it. I've already done it once before. And it was exhausting. Um, it, of course, I think it took me... I think I started at like 7.51 was my official start time. I want to say I got done just before 3. So whatever that time is. I want to say... I finished my four hour block in about three hours and I finished my second four hour block in like three hours. So a total of six hours taking the test and I took a, about a 30 minute lunch break. So it went okay. I mean, it's always kind of frustrating after those tests because you feel like, oh, I wish they would have asked me this, this, and this, or oh, I didn't get any of these questions, which I know I could have gotten. I kind of feel like I got random questions where I'm like, what? I, I don't think anybody studied this. Like it's really random. That's normally how I feel after most of those exams, so I don't know, I'm not I'm not too freaked out about it. Um, unfortunately, I also started to get a migraine about halfway through the exam. At my lunch break, I knew, I don't know if it was posture related or just stress related, I kind of knew I was starting to get one, and then by my sixth block out of eight, I definitely was like pushing on my eyes, and I was like, you know, just, I knew I was getting a migraine. So that was kind of unfortunate. And the worst part was actually having to drive the four and a half hours all by myself in the sunlight. And obviously I can't, you know, have my eyes closed or can't hear anything because you can hear the car on the road, which was, did not help the headache. And neither did, obviously, the sunlight. And I couldn't close my eyes because I was driving. So it was not a fun trip um, home. But... I lived through it. I thought actually that was harder than the test that I took that day. Um, but I recovered and I feel great today. So then John had a bachelor party on Saturday night, just last night, and I just went home. Um, both of our families are, are, we're already up north, so I just hung out by myself and went to bed early. John came home Sunday morning and we left for his cabin. So we are at John's parents' place right now and it is amazing. We left early, got up here before lunch, and have since then just hung out. I slathered myself in sunscreen because I'm so white and put on my bathing suit. You know, it's a good day when you pretty much hang out in your bathing suit all day. And just have to put on a shirt because we went to the gas station. That was pretty much the reason. It's beautiful weather. I think it's in the upper 70s, maybe low 80s. Not very much wind. It's not too humid. It is just gorgeous. So I laid out in just in the sun and read, finished a book for fun and read a few magazines. And I think we burned some old wooden chairs. So we did that. Went out on the boat. Stag so got a new boat. And so it's like a fast boat. So. We went what I think is really fast on the lake, and it's just beautiful. We're right on the lake, and it's a ginormous lake, I think. It would take, if you were just putzing around, it would take hours to go around the whole lake. And there's some areas that are more heavily populated where there's a cabin, and then a cabin, and cabin. And then there's some other areas where there's just not even a cabin in sight on the lake shore, and it's just beautiful. We passed eagles' nests, and just loons were out on the lake, and... Oh, it is just beautiful. And all we've done is pretty much relax. John took a nap. And I think he's been reading and pretty much doing nothing. So anyways, I'm going to go down and get ready for dinner. Uh, this probably won't be uploaded for a while since we don't have internet up here. But I'll see you guys soon.